Happy holidays, everybody. I'm Jake. And Alex here. Back again. And been meaning to get to this particular video for a while. This is an old classic nostalgia critic uh, video. This is the You're a Dirty Rotten Bastard Christmas Special. Okay. A real play on the uh, Scrooge It's a Wonderful Life type stories. Mm -hmm. Classic. <laughs> yeah, it's the nostalgic critic being taken on a journey to see what life would have been like if he had never been born, but unlike It's a Wonderful Life where he finds the will to live again, uh, things take on a bit of a darker turn with this well, one. you never know. Yep. And we get a bunch of cameos from classic, no longer with, uh, Channel Awesome members. Uh, this probably is, is joins kick ass here on the list of awkward to rewatch given what's gone down, okay. but still kind of fun as a time capsule. Yep. So, always nice for the Christmas theme. So. Without further ado, let's watch. Oh, it's a rotten, dirty bastard. Oh. Got it mixed up. Oh, 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 boys and girls. Santa Christ. Oh, this is all fun. And Merry Christmas to you all. <laughs> it certainly is the most wonderful time of the year. <laughs> but did you know there was a Christmas that almost wasn't? Well, this has nothing to do with that story. This is the story of a little boy named the Nostalgia Critic. And how he was well, he has the tantrum of a little boy. I got it! I really had it! I mean, it's Christmas time, and I'm not giving one good thing to her kill! I mean, what is this? A Charlie Brown quad? <laughs> Make. 
drive on to my road.
<laughs> Even the angel can't believe it. Well, this next one will show you. No, forget it. I'm done. This trip has been a nightmare. Nobody's better with me. They're all better without me. But surely you can see one more. Forget it. This is the most uninspiring ass shit I've ever seen in my life. Really, really suck at this. Oh, come <laughs> on. These can't possibly be as bad as Joe being president of the United States. Get ready. This made a mistake. This is where I film every day. Yeah, that's weird. We're supposed to see Spoonie's life. I don't quite understand. Hello, I'm the nostalgic critic. I remember it, so you don't have to. <laughs> today we're going to look at Last Action Hero. As we all know, Schwarzenegger can do no wrong. You take that back! And I found this to be an absolutely delightful movie. What? It's a clever send-up to all those action cliches we know and love. Then I was clumsy and unnecessary! It's a wonderful thrill ride from beginning to end, and I enjoyed every minute of it. Oh, my dear! Ah, let's see if you're one of those pesky internet trolls. Oh, hey, Juicy, what are you up to? Oh, nothing, I just wanted to say what a fantastic job you're doing. <laughs> Inspiration <laughs> to the internet, and gosh darn it, a treasure to us all! Why, thank you, Douchey. I always look forward to your calls. Oh, by the way, are you still doing the crossover review with Fetus? I was going to, but Canada seems to have disappeared off the map, so I'm <laughs> going to have to get back to you on that one. Okay, no grudge. Take care, my friend. So long, douchey. What a charming young lad. <laughs> Beautiful man. <laughs> and you know, I didn't think Junior was that bad. I mean, Schwarzenegger pregnant, that was kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's horrifying. That's Ron DeSantis territory right there. Contagious, I'm sure. 
personality here so yeah I thought it was well done front to back it was good again I look at the end he's like so the moral is oh <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's just uh, meant to be good nasty fun and it was fun seeing all the different versions of the reviewers at the time yeah like this he's got a little Matia in there I mean with the 
with his cameo. So yeah, but T was always a fun character by uh, Bargo. Yep. When they had him, and uh, yeah. Mary Poppins had an abortion. <laughs> The various alternate versions you see. The cinema snob as a porn star. Yeah. I can totally buy that, because uh, Brad, next to all the porn he has reviewed as that character, he admits he one point did direct a low-budget porn movie. Yeah. And uh, thanks to a special DVD where he reviewed uncensored porn films, where he was in the nude while reviewing it, it's verified. He does have a pretty big penis. Yeah, not a cough. And, uh, and, um, Angry Joe as President of the United States. That was probably my favorite alternate universe there. You really, yeah. you really like Angry Joe. Yeah. Yeah, he's like a Hispanic version of the 45. Mm -hmm. Canada had a coming. <laughs> yeah, blame Canada. I wonder if, I wonder if they blew up Alaska at the same time by mistake, but, uh, who would miss it? Lindsay Ellis is a nostalgia chick. She's directing the good version of Twilight. Mm -hmm. And we hear the sound of uh, the baby crying. And um, this, this might get a little dark, but and I, I'm sure this was not at all what Doug was intending to joke about when he made this. Mm -hmm. The year this special came out, Lindsay Ellis, I believe, had also put out a mini documentary called The A Word, which was about uh, abortion. Okay. And she documented herself getting an abortion. Oh. So some okay. people go, you take that into account, hearing that baby cry. That's super dark, yeah. Yeah. Takes yeah. a possibly different meaning. But, um,. Yeah, and uh, Linkara, comic guy, he's the president of DC and Marvel. Mm -hmm. I've I read the, I believe that line was ad lib by Lewis. Oh, it's kind of what Disney's got going on right now, even though it doesn't have DC, but it's got everything else on the planet. Yeah, yeah they got everything, and just like, <laughs> just like Netflix, they want to control everybody who watches, and Bob Iger. I don't know if the writer's strike is resolved by the time this video goes up, but we know where he's at with the power. Mm -hmm. And uh, But the, the funniest for me, the first time I saw this years ago, was the big reveal of Spoonie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just Doug's reaction of screaming in horror. <laughs> and everything he says there about loving Last Action Hero and uh, Doug be screaming that it's horrible. <laughs> you, you ever seen Last Yes, Act? yes, that was a long time ago. Um, those are actually what they, Doug says, Noah says. Those are their real thoughts on that movie. Mm -hmm. And their differing opinions, I believe, famously put a little rift at one point between them. Yeah, it felt like the real reviews. Lastly, the angel go, going ass assassin on him and mm -hmm. then Getting shot. Yeah, I just like his absolute joy at the end, realizing that he did benefit himself. <laughs> I, I thought that was classic critic right there. Yeah, it's fun, and the Roger character would actually return a few years later. In 2012, mm -hmm. Doug was at one point considering ending the Nostalgia Critic, and he brought it back not too long after but in what was originally meant to be the series finale. Mm -hmm. He brought back the Roger Angel in a pretty interesting way. When we get to that episode to react to, what they do with him, I think you'll enjoy it. Okay. Knowing how big of a Star Trek fan you oh. are. Yeah. So anyway, I just thought that'd be fun. And uh, without further ado, have a Merry Christmas, everybody. Yeah, happy holidays. Happy New Year and see you again hopefully soon.